still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I offer this mass specially for all of you. As we are going to have the feast of Our Lady of Velankani, let us in a special way participate in this mass that Mary, our mother, may continue to bless us and pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, however sinful we are, whatever the past we have, there is some chance for conversion in each and everyone's life. Today, the Holy Church celebrates the feast of Saint Augustine. Philosopher, theologian and bishop of the church. He enjoyed maximum of his life and he had committed sins in every way possible. And his mother Monica prayed for him for his conversion for more than 30 years, my dear brothers and sisters. And at last, the conversion came to his heart by the message of Saint Ambrose, the then Bishop of Milan. And once conversion came to his heart, he remained a faithful servant for life. He never looked back. He never looked back at his past and he never looked back at his sins. He only looked on his future with the Lord, and he remained a faithful servant for life, my dear brothers and sisters. That is the reason I said, whatever the past we have, and whatever the sins we have committed, there is a scope for conversion in each and everyone's heart. And once converted, how are our lives? Are Still do we need conversion? Let us introspect ourselves and see. If we have converted, how are our lives? And if we are not converted, still what are we waiting for? As we are celebrating and remembering this great saint, let us in a special way ask for his assistance in our prayers that he may continue to pray for us and bless us that we too may live as faithful servants as he lived. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters 
that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary. Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brethren, concerning brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. For that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout the Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more, and to aspire to live quietly, and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands, as we instructed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, The Lord comes to judge the people with fairness. Altogether, the Lord comes to judge the peoples with fairness. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Response, the Lord comes to judge the peoples with fairness. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. Response, the Lord comes to judge the peoples with fairness. He will judge the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Response, the Lord comes to judge the peoples with fairness. Kindly stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A new commandment I give to you, says the Lord, that you love one another just as I have loved you. Hallelujah.
the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory be to you o lord at that time jesus told his disciples this parable it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property to the one he gave five talents to another two and to another one to each according to his ability then he went away he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and he made five talents more so also he who had the two talents made two talents more but he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money now after a long time the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them and he who had received the five talents came forward bringing five talents more saying master you delivered to me five talents here i have made five talents more his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a little i will set you over much enter into the joy of your master and he also who had two talents came forward saying master you delivered to me two talents here i have made two talents more his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a little i will set you over much enter into the joy of your master he also who had received the one talent came forward saying master i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gather and gathering where you scatter no seed i was afraid and i went and hid your talent in the ground here you have what is yours but his master answered him you wicked and slothful servant you knew that i reap where i have not sown and gather where i scattered no seed then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and at my coming i should have received what was my own with interest so take the talent from him and give it to him who has the 10 talents for to everyone who has will more be given and he will have an abundance but from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters we have heard the parable of the talents 
this parable comes between two parables they are the parable of the ten virgins and the next one is the parable of the final judgment these three parables speak about the kingdom of god and his coming in the parable of the ten virgins lord jesus christ wants us to be vigilant at the lord's coming we see in that parable five were wise virgins and five were foolish virgins the foolish virgins do not carry the oil with them but the wise did that and at the bridegroom's coming there is a shout that the bridegroom is coming and the 10 virgins and the five virgins who are ready and wise lit their lights and went to and went to receive the bridegroom whereas the foolish virgins did not do because of the lack of the oil with them and through this parable lord jesus christ says us to be vigilant at the lord's coming because we do not know at what hour the lord is coming if the master of the house knows at what hour the thief is coming he would have kept himself awake and would not have robbed his house in the same manner if we are to know at what hour the lord is coming we would have kept our faith vigilant to receive the lord but then my dear brothers and sisters the parable tells us we do not know at what hour the master and the lord is coming so our work is to be vigilant as the wise virgins did but most of the times what we do is we act like the foolish virgins we act like the foolish virgins and will not have enter into the kingdom of god in today's parable the same thing is happening some of us may think that our lord is partial because he has not given the talents equally to the three people there is a variation to one he gave five talents to another he gave two talents and to another he gave one talent there is variation in giving the talents and some of us may think that our lord is showing injustice but then the truth is no two human beings are same the master and the student cannot be treated as same equal as same and equally the student has to be treated in one way and the master has to be treated in another way the poor has to be treated in one way and the rich has to be treated in another way so my dear brothers and sisters no two human beings are same our talents differ our attitude differs our behavior differs and our intelligence and iq also differs my dear brothers and sisters that is the reason i said no two human beings are same in thinking in doing in acting in whatever may be no two to no two human beings are same that is the reason the lord shows variations in giving the talents the one who has received five talents may be a poor guy and that is the reason he won the favor of the lord and received five talents and the one who had received one talent may be a rich guy and that is the reason the lord had entrusted with him one talent and his intelligence and iq we can see through his own words he says i know lord that you are a hard man you reap where you did not sow and you gather where you did not scatter through these words we can understand that that guy is a intelligent guy 
That is the reason the Lord showed variations in giving the talents. In the same way, we too had received many talents in our life, not knowing what talents we have received. Because until and unless we show them in our intelligence, we show them in our acting and we show them in our talking, we will not realize that what talents we have received by the Lord. What happens most of the times with us is that, as the one who had received one talent, went, dug a pit and hid the talent in that pit. In the same way, we too do most of the times the same thing. We hid our talents with us. We don't exhibit our talents. We don't show our talents outside and we don't make use of them at all. As the foolish virgins did. Though we know what is going to happen at the Lord's coming, we don't be vigilant. We don't be active and alive in our faith as the wise virgins did. That is the reason today, fortunately, we celebrate the feast of St. Augustine, my dear brothers and sisters. His mother, Monica, prayed for more than 30 years for his conversion. How eager and vigilant his mother would have been. More than 30 years, tirelessly, she prayed for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine. That is the reason our Catholic Church announced both of them as a saints. Yesterday, we had celebrated the feast day of St. Monica, and today, we celebrate the feast day of St. Augustine. He says, my heart is we are, my heart and we are, restless, O Lord, until we rest in you. My heart is restless, O Lord, until it rests in you. Such is the faith and the conversion he had received by the words of St. Ambrose. And he never looked back at his life. But I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, he had committed sins in every way possible. He had the worst past. He had the worst past. And he had committed every way possible the sins. By his words, by his acting, by his behavior, by his attitude. In every way possible, he had committed the sins. And the conversion came at once. And he never looked back, my dear brothers and sisters. He remained a faithful servant until he had entered into the kingdom of God. So as we are reflecting upon this beautiful theme and topic, let us look into ourselves how far we are vigilant at the Lord's coming. How far we are keeping our faith at the Lord's coming and how far our conversion is helping us. Let us introspect and check in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church we offer you the sacrifice of praise o lord as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son grant we pray that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominion, shadow, and powers temple before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our vices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise. Yes, we are clean. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we bring by sending down your spirit upon them like they default so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat the spread and we drink the cup
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald the Gracious, our Cardinal, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us all dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, give us this, day this day our daily, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called for this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now we make a prayer in order to receive the Lord spiritually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
อเมน n a v i n a prayer to Our Lady of Health of Belangkani, O Most Holy Virgin, you were chosen to be the mother of Jesus. Permit me, your devoted client, to praise you for this i n e q u i t privilege. O tender mother, comforteress of the afflicted. Grant me the special protection, which you have promised to those who e n r a t e you, relying on the infinite mercies of your divine Son, trusting on His promises that those who ask would receive, and penetrate with confidence in your powerful intercession. I most humbly entreat you. To obtain for me the favors which I petition for in this novena, if it is the holy will of God, or else whatever grace I am most to stand in need of. Let us pray for our personal needs. Let us also make thanksgiving prayers. In a special way, we pray for all our community members, families, friends, and relatives. For the good health and comfort, for the sick and suffering in the hospitals and in our homes, for peace and understanding in the families. For a happy settlement in marriage, for vocation to the priesthood and religious life, for accommodation, for shelter, relief to the poor and marginalized, for the gift of children, for safe confinement, for success in studies, for employment, for promotions, for cure from drugs, alcoholism, and other addictions. Let us also, in a special way, pray to the Lord that so that He may protect us and heal us from this COVID-19 pandemic. In veneration of the love and joy with which Your heart was replenished when the Word was made flesh in Your womb, I offer You the sentiments of my heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mother of God, accept these salutations in union with the veneration with which the angel Gabriel first aid you full of grace. I wish most sincerely that these may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory. Mother Mary, to your keeping, soul and body we can find, toiling, resting, walking, sleeping be ever at our side. Cares that vexes, joys that please us, life and death we trust in you. You make yours all for Jesus and for all eternity. Amen. Prayer for the success of the forthcoming Nativity Devotions. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, Queen of the Universe, with deep humility and confidence in your maternal love, we ask you to protect, guard and guide us during the nine days in preparation for the happy and joyful event of your birth. During this time, we ask you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to protect us and all the devotees. Be with us at every step we take. Guard us from the snares of the evil one. Bless all the pilgrims, especially of other faiths, that they may experience joy, peace and love. Heavenly Mother, we know that you will commend all our petitions to Jesus as you did at Cana. Bless all those who have given and, we, and will be giving their service and time to make this event a success. Bless and protect our parish priest and his assistants and all the other parish fathers. Bless all our preachers. May all of us work in complete unity of mind and heart. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. All generations will call me blessed, for God has looked on his slowly handmaid. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.